Hello, my name is Nigel. I'll be leading you through our documentary today, Survival of a Simple Caveman, Bobo, presented by Natural Geographics. Here we see Bobo, our beloved caveman, in his natural habitat. This unintelligent being with a brain capacity of 300 to 600 is sitting here with his fruit and trying to open his food with his bare hands. Cranial capacity is increased from 650 to 800 and refuses to eat meat. Bobo is still not at a very advanced level. As you can see, he is having trouble in his attempt to eat the meat and is easily frustrated. Ah, Bobo, moving up the evolutionary chain. This Homo erectus with a cranial capacity of 900 eats meat and is able to have protein that will help him gain essential nutrients for survival. The Homo sapien now has evolved. Well, most of the way. But he is almost there. Fortunately for us, this guy covers himself up and eats more appropriately. He has definitely climbed the evolutionary tree. Days of walking away from the nearest water source, our cavemen cannot survive without their bag until their survival instincts quickly kick in and their brains go to work. They start to analyze their surroundings. Our cavemen have apparently found a solution to their dilemma, but it seems to fail. As you can see, the first experiment did not work, but now they can start to try and suggest that if a rock is projected at the bag at an angle of 54.36 degrees, with enough force, it will push the object out of its state of inertia and cause the fall, according to Newton's first law. Ooh, celebration time, come on! Look at this magnificent beast, out in the world, boy himself, he's a beaut. Yet, let's walk over to the cavemen and see what they're up to, as they need the food for survival. Here is Bobo, our beloved caveman, who wants to try and help lead the pack of humans to be able to capture and kill the meaty bison. They are trying to communicate with one another in what will possibly be the best strategy. If Bobo wants to be able to survive and thrive in this ever-changing environment, he must learn to communicate with one another to organize how to seize the massive bison. Last time they went out to kill the bison, they ended up only catching a squirrel. Based off of this information passed down from each generation, he begins to learn to communicate with, one, with the others and develop tools from natural items to help accomplish goals necessary for survival. As you can see now, they are ready. They are ready to attack the boys. As you can see, they succeeded in catching and eating the food by using teamwork and makeshift tools for survival. After a hard day's work, there's celebration to be had. We have trapped the primal beast inside this detention center. Obviously, he has never encountered such torture as this before. 
Currently, his brain is only as fast as the lizard brain. Bubba uses this brain for most of his basic functionings. Breathing, heart rate, sleeping, and walking. Brain shift. After some minor tinkering in Bobo's brain, his most evolved brain now is the mammal brain. It is responsible for the four F's in life. Fighting, fleeing, feeding, and, uh, yes, reproductive behavior. Brain shift. Again, again, again. Bobo has now reached an evolved human brain level, along with the mammal and lizard brain. It is in charge of complex thought and communication. Would you like to try? Thank you again, everyone, for coming out to our presentation on Bobo, the Evolved Caveman. Make sure to join us next time on National Geographics for the new special on penguin mating calls.